Hi, welcome to an EV Blab. I had to mention this because uh, there are two big things that have happened in the PCB design space in the last uh, week or two, and I thought we'd just uh, take a look at them if you're not aware. Now, the uh, first one is, oh, by the way, um, just ignore that board above me. I'm shooting another video doing a screen capture thing here. Anyway, two things have happened. The first one is that um, Autodesk have bought Eagle. They purchased Eagle from Element 14 slash Farnells slash Newark, whoever you want to call them. Uh, they purchased it for I, around about 20 million, 22, it's in the 20 millions, something like that. Um, because fa this came about because Element 14 themselves were slash Farnell slash Newark were bought by somebody else and well yeah okay who cares about that we talked about on the amp hour amp hour I'll probably link it in uh, down below so Farnell's were bought out and Farnell bought out Eagle a couple of years back and so they owned Eagle and the new owner of Farnell's I guess went well we don't want to be in this you know PCB design space business we just want to sell parts and do whatever which is fine I reckon it's a good choice that they spun off Eagle now they sold it to Autodesk and Autodesk have a whole bunch of uh, uh, they've got like circuit simulators they own a bunch of companies they're not a 123D uh, thing and they own uh, Circuits IO that's right um, which is another uh, product so they're actually getting really powerful they now the only thing they are missing major thing they are missing is a PCB design tool so now Autodesk have bought Eagle and and a lot of people are worried about what's going to happen and everything like that. So that's change number one. And by the way, I'll link in this Artist Fruit uh, blog where they did an interview with uh, Matt from, who's an ex Altium guy, hi Matt, uh, from Autodesk asking questions about the changes and everything else. Um, and it sounds like it's a reasonably good move and they're going to, you know, start to improve things in the Eagle space. So coincidentally, uh, huh? a couple of days after uh, the announcement that Autodesk bought Eagle, Circuit Studio, Altium, this is news number two. Uh, Altium, who had this ridiculous mid-tier program called Circuit Studio uh, that they used to sell through Element 14, by the way, they used to sell it for like $3,000, US dollars, I think it was. It was a ridiculous ridiculous idea it was in the no man's land it was in the dead band of uh pcb tool pricing and i i think the number of people who actually bought it i could probably count on both hands i suspect and i think rumor has it this was sort of pushed by element 14 at the time because they had eagle they owned eagle down in the low end space and they wanted sort of like a, a higher end tool so i think they approached altium and altium said hey we can do a watered down version of altium designer let's call it circuit studio and um and then they sold it exclusively through element 14 and i don't think they sold any of it which is I told you so because I did a video on this back in number 527 here saying that anything over a thousand bucks was basically you know no man's land nobody would buy it had to be under that thousand dollars so what did Altium do two day a couple of days after this announcement from Autodesk and Eagle bingo they dropped their prices, slashed it by a third. It is now, check it out, this is the US site, it is now 900 and, oh, oh, sorry, you can't see that. I'll actually get rid of, there you go, 995 uh, US dollars, and uh, that's for a one-off uh, thing. It's a perpetual uh, license, or you can pay, and, or you pay $150 maintenance per year to maintain it and get updates and stuff like that brilliant move and they that is really aggressive pricing and for people who think eagle's cheap it's not this now undercuts eagle e if you have a look at eagle prices they're uh for their commercial licenses okay which is ones like guys like me have to uh use or anyone like in business you know selling and designing anything you're going to sell you need a commercial license they want 820 us dollars here for uh, the schematic and the layout and you get the auto router everything else which sounds fantastic but wah, look at this
this 160 by 100 millimeter routing area. That's ridiculous. It's great if you want to do a shield like an Arduino shield or something like that, but anything bigger than that, you have to go up and pay 1640 US dollars for anything. I've been saying this on the amp hour and, and the forum and everywhere else for a long time. The Eagle pricing is ridiculous. It's an absolute joke because if you want, if you have a single sided board, a single sided board with two components on it, one at either side and they're 161 millimeters apart, you need to buy the $1,640 license. It's just, it's ridiculous. So anyway, Altium have now released Circuit Studio. Now that Element 14 no longer owns Eagle, they aren't put in, they aren't set in the price and they've, because if Elements 14 sold Circuit Studio, Altium Circuit Studio at the $995 price point before, nobody would have been buying Eagle. So now, Element 14 don't own Eagle anymore? Meh, let's sell Circuit Studio for 995 bucks. So I guess Altium's hands aren't tied anymore in regards to the pricing of that. So this is a huge move. Um, Eagle has massive competition now in Altium's um, Circuit Studio. Now, of course, Altium didn't listen to me properly and they released Circuit Maker which I actually, hats off to them, they made it completely free, no commercial restrictions, anything like that. It's a completely free version, but it's cloud-based, online, must share your files, all that sort of stuff. And it didn't really gain the traction uh, that they were hoping for, I don't think. I'm not sure the number of users, maybe they'd like to tell us, but uh, anyway, I don't think it got the traction that uh, they were hoping for. But um, the new Circuit Studio, which, by the way, um, they ta -da, gave me a license for, so I now have a commercial license to play with Circuit Studio now. I'm quite excited. Um, and we can, uh, hopefully, here we go. Oh, hello. There we go. I can now play with uh, Circuit Studio, but that is very aggressive pricing uh, for a thousand... Uh, under a thousand US dollars for a commercial PCB tool. Now there are limits to uh, this. If we go in here, I think here we go. Miscellaneous technical page. It's one of these two. Anyway, I may not bore you with the details, but Circuit Studio is effectively uh, Altium, Altium Designer stripped down. So there, um, there is a comparison sheet. Sorry, I should have had it open before here but uh, yeah there is a comparison between the two tools and um, here it is is this it no anyway I'll post a link down below there is a comparison between Circuit Studio and Altium Designer and what things Circuit Studio doesn't include from Altium Designer sound, some of them sound okay some of them sound a bit worrying so anyway I haven't tried it out uh, fully yet I will be doing this in uh, a future video absolutely no doubt about that and uh, we'll be having a play around with uh, Circuit Studio and uh, see how it goes so I'm rather uh, excited by that and so really interesting news that could lead to uh, price wars and things like that in the PCB design space and that's only a good thing by the way Matt from Autodesk he is on the EEV blog forum answering questions and uh, stuff like that if you want to talk to uh, Matt about um, auto about the new Eagle and he's listening to feature upgrades and things like that. So I'm not an Eagle user. Um, I might do maybe a shootout between the two in the future once I get uh, used to both of them because I haven't used Circuit Studio before. But it's basically Altium Designer with the ribbon interface uh, that's used on Circuit Studio. That's the main difference between. Uh, that, but it's I believe it's based on the Altium Designer code and not the Circuit Maker uh, code. So it's basically a stripped down Altium Designer. Anyway, fantastic news uh, and what people have been waiting for under a thousand bucks for a um, hopefully professional level PCB design uh, tool. So yeah, look out for future videos on this. Very exciting. If you want to discuss it, links down below, all that sort of stuff. And yeah. Sorry, Altium. I told you so. Catch you next time.